Hello guys. So welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a new tutorial on character modeling over here in 3ds Max. So on viewers demand I'm creating this tutorial. So very first of all let's take a reference over here. So I have a reference over here. So I'll just take a plane over here. In the front view over here. So I'll just check out the size of that particular reference over here. I'll just right click and I'll see the properties over here. 1280 by 914. So I'll just press R and I'll just slightly scale it over here. So you can still reduce the size if required. Press M go into material over here. I'll just take a standard material. I'll go into diffuse bitmap. I'll take a reference over here. So let's just take a reference. So as you can see I have taken a reference over here so I have downloaded this reference from internet after that I can just go over here I'll rotate it in 90 degree I'll go into the side view and I'll rotate this and I'll make a <coughs> copy of it so We'll make a copy in this way. So just let's take a plane if required. You can take a plane. So now, so this is what your front view and side view will look over here. Okay. So this is your side view, this is your front view. So how we can start up over here is like, you can start up with a box, you can start up with a plane, there are many methods for character modeling. So as you can see over here, uh, whenever you are going to start up, you have to see that it is matching or not. But this reference is matching if it is not matching you have to go into photoshop and you have to match the uh, reference over here like front view side view top view you can match it then you can start up so let's start up with a box so i'll just take a box over here i'll press alt and x over here i'll in the side view i'll shuffle this box over here go into the front view over here I'll just convert to editable poly I'll go into modeling over here I'll take one swift loop over here I'll go into the vertices and I'll slightly again shuffle this up push it in this way go into this view over here slightly push this over here in this way after that again select the polygons we are just going to block this right now let's just extrude that down So go into the vertices and just slightly adjust it. So I'm not going to put more loops over here. Let me just save this. I'll just save this over here.
after that let's again go into polygons and let's extrude it okay so now over here we have a twist over here what I'm going to do is like I'll slightly shuffle this in this way because the flow will go in this way for the leg part so you don't need to directly just extrude it very straight you don't need to do that now I'll go into the polygon as as I told you I'm just in the blocking mode right now so and extrude it down you just go over here like this this will go in this way so let's just push it a bit inside push it a bit inside all right again select the polygons just extrude it down so we are not creating or modeling a realistic character we are modeling a semi-realistic character so kind of more of a you know cartoonish character so as you can see if we look at it closely so over here again I'll select the polygons over here and slightly extrude that I'll scale it and I'll see I'm not creating any kind of details right now I'm just into the blocking mode just extrude this alright so once you're done with this now after that I'll go over here I'll go into the polygons and I'll slightly delete this part so if you just want to see how it looks like you can just right click and nub toggle it you can see this right click and off the nub toggle over here so you can see the references uh, totally matching over here after that what I can do over here is like I'll go over here again I'll select the polygon so we are going to extrude the leg from this part only so I'll slightly insert this a bit not much slightly insert that and let's just extrude the leg section over here press R and scale it okay so now the same way we are going to do it let's put one loop over here so select this polygon so just select the polygon part over here extrude that go into the vertices slightly shuffle that down save your file again so we are in the blocking mode as I told you I am just blocking this part again reduce this slightly click ok so select the vertices push it down I'll put one loop over here so if you look at it closely this should go back over here for this particular leg part so let's see the leg how it looks like so we'll slightly make it straight over here and we'll make it a bit broad so 
so so this details we can easily get so just select this so save your file I'll just give a grey color to it so we are just into the blocking mode now I'll go into this and I'll just give a symmetry modifier if you want to see how it looks like on the other side let's give a symmetry modifier go into this and you can see how it looks like so definitely there are a lot of details left to be done this is just a blocking part So you can just solve the symmetry section. You can add one loop over here. And you can start tweaking this vertices. You can create the fingers or if you want to create the shoes you can do that also. Alright. Okay. So guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here. So this is just start up with the blocking over here. So please like and subscribe my youtube channel. So we will continue the rest of the part in the coming tutorial. So. Thanks for watching this tutorial.